So that's my trick. Just load them up with wands, I get the applause of life. Um, welcome to another edition of the show. You know, we poke fun at a lot of groups here on Living Color, and we always get letters, people wanting, well, how do you decide which group you're going to make fun of each week? So what I decided to do is show you what the process is, and with the help of the Fly Girls, we'll show you how we pick. Come on, ladies, help me out. Bring it out, wheel. By spinning our little comedy wheel of race right here, and let's just see who we're gonna make fun of each week. So, Dean, let's give it a spin, huh? <laughs> you know, it's pretty unbelievable. This seems to come up every week. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get on with the show. Kick it. And now, another episode of The Head Detective. Remember, we're supposed to be undercover. Right there, let me put your disguise on. Wouldn't want anybody to recognize you could blow the whole operation. <clears throat> Barkeep. You have a scotch and soda, shaking that stir. Coming right up. Partner, check out the chick. Whew. Look, put me on the ground for a second, will you? Go easy on her head. <laughs> Say, Luscious, can I buy you a drink? Who said that? Uh, down here. Hi, Angel. Listen, <laughs> you know, it's moments like this with being short has its advantages. <laughs> Bug off, Ted. I don't date cops. And let me tell you something. Don't you ever, huh. ever, huh? ever huh. look up a lady's dress again unless she asks you to. <laughs> Understand? She wants me. <laughs> All right, forget about her. Remember, we're on a case. Come on, let's go check out that bowling alley. Leave a little crack in there so I can breathe. Will you shut up? <laughs> Damn! That's a fourth split. 
tonight. Hey, that's the way the ball bounces. I want to put on the wall. Hey, hey, that's my party of bowling. I think I know why you're getting so many splits. These pins are loaded with cocaine. Hey, hey, get that guy. Does anybody follow me? Oh, I swear, I'll put her away. Stop it! I think I better go for backup's head. He's getting too far away. They're going for the roof. Oh, remember when we played high school football? The big game, fourth quarter, last play, little nuggets down by two. And you're not saying what I think you're saying. Kick me out of Head, just do it, damn it! Hey, head. I think you forgot to put your shorts on, man. I knew I felt the draft. Freeze, Maggie. Oh, just don't hit me, man. Shut up. <laughs> This has been another episode of The Head Detective. And now, the adventures of Always saving the day. Always helping the handicapped. Oh, I hate the handicapped! Oh, physically challenged. I shall challenge them all. I, Dr. Marty, shall destroy Handyman and his entire disabled army with my newest invention. A handy droid. <laughs> Man, I love my pet. Yes, master. Let's test your stride. Excellent! Excellent! You are ready. Now, what are you going to do? Ruin handyman. Good, good. And how are you going to do it? Wreak havoc on the city. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now go! Go. Hi, <laughs> handyman. Checking out the vault? Lots of dimes in there, thanks to you. I've come to make a withdrawal. Oh, you can't go in. Wait, wait, you can't go in there. Going to dinner tonight? Oh, I'd love to, Clark, but I can't tonight. Perhaps you haven't heard. Handyman's turned to a life of crime. I've got to go. What about a cup of water by the cooler? Oh, this can only be the work of the evil Dr. Naughty. Looks like a job for Handyman.
Whenever Handyman's around, you seem to disappear. Could it be that... <laughs> no. <laughs> before the ladies and gentlemen of the jury pass judgment consider this my client was sleepwalking yes sleepwalking the defense rests is the prosecution ready to cross-examine who is the prosecutor in this case uh, your honor that would be Arsenio Yes, Your Honor. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get to the bottom of things. Did you see what I did to Vanilla Ice? That's what I do. I get to the bottom of things. <laughs> now, with no further ado, I'd like to bring on my first witness. He's a very talented man. He's assaulted 57 women and then showed an indifference for human life and property. So please, give a big round of applause to Mr. Roland B. Give it up! Uh, let's get right into it, Roland. Now your picture is up all over the post office. You're on the FBI's top ten list. Two years in a row. What the court would like to know is, has celebrity life changed you? <laughs> what? What was it like before all the fame? <laughs> well, I was locked in the closet most of my life. Uh, I was abused as a child. <laughs> One time my mother uh, held me underwater for about four and a half minutes. <laughs> my father used to use me as an ashtray! <laughs> Oh, nothing. Just a little joke. 
Me and Whitney shared about Eddie Murphy. Uh, Objection! What is this, Your Honor? Sustain, Mr. Hall. <laughs> now, I haven't read the deposition, but my people tell me that you used Exhibit A to assault all 57 of your victims. Well, the jury, please note, Exhibit A is a heavy, blunt instrument. Do you work out, man? Because this ain't no sissy murder weapon. This here is one bad man with jam. Look like one of them brontosaurus ribs from the front stone. Now, why did Fred always put the ribs in the back of the car when he knew it was going to tip over? Real Unless there is someone else you would like to call to the stand, I suggest you wrap this up. Very well, Your Honor. Fair enough. A surprise guest tonight, Mr. Eddie Murphy. Come on. I fail to see how this relates. Oh, it doesn't, Your Honor. It's just that it's sweet, sweet, and it would be nice to have Eddie in the car. <laughs> nah. You know, me and Eddie are best friends. And we made a pact before we got famous. Never let a woman come between us. And you are one fine, bad man, Mr. Prosecutor. Ah, I pour barbecue sauce all over you and work you like a real. Mr. Prosecutor. <laughs> Make your closing statements before I find you in contempt. Very well. Will the jury please note, she is fine. Unless if Eddie was here, he'd steal for himself. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you've heard some very compelling arguments tonight on both sides of the issue. Compelling, that's a very big word. I know a lot of brothers sitting there going, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> anyway, a man's life hangs in the balance. With that in mind, have you ever noticed how white people sit in a jury, very attentive, sitting there going, I wonder if he's guilty or innocent. I wish he'd hurry up, I have a job to go to. Brothers be sitting there going, say, man, they paying me twelve dollars eighty five cents plus gas. I'm staying all day. Maybe he is. Maybe he ain't. <laughs> They're not jokes, folks. Just a little something to make you say. Mm. <laughs> and on that, the prosecution rests. This has been a total travesty of justice. Ah, oh, she is fine. <laughs> Let's not forget to give a big round of applause to the main man of the night himself. Come on, I want you to give it up like you got a boiled egg and a glass of water in your stomach loud. Mr. Roland Big, come on, give it up, Roland. Yeah. Has the jury reached a decision? Uh, yes, we have, Your Honor. And although we personally find Mr. Biggs here guilty beyond any shadow of a doubt, there was no evidence presented in this courtroom of that nature. And so therefore we, uh, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Oh. No one, Roland. Yes, no, sir. I want my man, the king of funk, to take us home with some of that nasty old leftover lit in your belly button, didn't check between your toes, funk. Check. Guests, well, two very special guests that I'm, I'm really uh, honored to have on the show. Uh, many things have been said about them, but what I'd like to say is that they're the premier group of rap, that the uh, boldness in their lyrics, the level of consciousness that they have brought to their music has totally redefined the level of excellence of rap. So with no further ado, I'd like to bring to you... Off the label Def Jam Records, here's Public Enemy and Ice Cube. <laughs> Oh yeah, in the house, you know we got Ice Cube And you know that I'm down with the P.E. Hey, yo, Chuck, man, what you kick it to a one-side G? No war for all, I got a letter from the government The other day, I opened and read it and said they were suckers They wanted me for the army or whatever 
bitch of me giving a damn. I said never. Go on, let's rock the house. Fly girls, we'll show you how we pick. Come on, ladies, help me out. Bring it out, wheel. <laughs> see, by spinning our little comedy wheel of race right here, it lets us see who we're gonna make fun of each week. So, Dean, let's give it a spin, huh? come up every week. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the show. Kick it. And now, another episode of The Head Detective. Remember, we're supposed to be undercover. Right there, let me put that disguise on. Wouldn't want anybody to recognize you could blow the whole operation. <clears throat> Barkeep. You have a scotch and soda, shaking that stir. Coming right up. Partner, check out the chick. Whew. Look, put me on the ground for a second, will you? Go easy on her head. <laughs> Say, Luscious, can I buy you a drink? Who said that? Uh, down here. Hi, Angel. Oh, 
always saving the day. Always helping the handicapped. Oh, I hate the handicapped! Oh, it's physically challenged. Well, I shall challenge them all. I, Dr. Marty, shall destroy Handyman and his entire disabled army with my newest invention. A handy droid. <laughs> Yes, Master. Let's test your strike. Excellent! Excellent! You are ready. Now, what are you going to do? Ruin Handyman. Good, good. And how are you going to do it? Wreak havoc on the city. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now go! Oh. <laughs> Hiya, Handy Man. Checking out the vault? Lots of dimes in there, thanks to you. I've come to make a withdrawal. Oh, <laughs> you can't go in. Wait, wait, you can't go in there. Listen, I you know it's moments like this when being short has its advantages. <laughs> Bug off, Ken. I don't date cops. And let me tell you something. Don't you ever, huh. ever, huh? ever huh. look up a lady's dress again unless she asks you to. Understand? She wants me. Right, forget about her. Remember, we're on a case. Come on, let's go check out that bowling alley. Leave a little crack in her so I can breathe. Will you shut up? <laughs> Damn! That's a four split tonight. Hey, that's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> I got the first one That's my party involved! I think I know why you're getting so many splits. These pins are loaded with cocaine. Hey! Hey, get that guy! Don't oh. anybody follow me? Or I swear, I'll put her away. Stop it! I think I better go for backup, Ted. He's getting too far away. They're going for the roof. Oh, remember when we played high school football? The big game, fourth quarter, last play, little nuggets down by two. Ted, you're not saying what I think you're saying. Kick me out of Ted, just do it, damn it. Hey, Ted, I think you forgot to put your shorts on, man. I knew I felt the draft. Just don't hit me, man. Shut up. <laughs> All right, hey. This has been another episode of The Head Detective. to Clark, but I can't tonight. Perhaps you haven't heard. Handyman's turned to a life of crime. I've got to go. What about a cup of water by the cooler? Oh, 
This can only be the work of the evil Dr. Naughty. Looks like a job for handyman. Okay, Dr. Nordy, the gig is up. Why are you trying to destroy my name? A long time ago, I got a ticket for parking in a handicapped zone. I have committed my life to destroying the... F the... F physically challenged. Well, now it's time someone stopped you. Handy, man. Let me introduce you... To your death! Kill him! Yes, master. Let's get busy. Stick a jab, stick a jab. Oh, no! <laughs> So that's my trick. Just load them up with wands, I get the applause of life. Um, welcome to another edition of the show. You know, we poke fun at a lot of groups here on Living Color, and we always get letters, people wanting, well, how do you decide which group you're going to make fun of each week? So what I decided to do is show you what the process 